Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're looking at the mission editor in DCS World and setting the mission options. Now setting the mission options can be done anytime during the process of making a mission. You can do it at the beginning, the middle or the end and I just it's out of my habit that I always do it at the end. So we're in the mission editor now which you can get to from the main menu. Now we can either go to customize mission options or we can press that tick there gets to the same box which is the mission options. There are several options as you can see going down here and there are two main columns. There is the value here, the default value and the enforce value here. So uh, let's just choose external views for instance. If we have the relevant enforce box not ticked like that then regarding, regarding external options when a player plays the mission that you're making now whether it's a single player or multiplayer then the external views option here will be taken from the client's main settings that they've got set up from their main menu. So if someone flies your mission that has their main settings with external views turned off, then for that guy, he will not have external views. If another person flies your mission that has his main options, external views turned on, then he will be able to use external views in your mission. Now we can enforce, regardless of their personal main menu settings, we can enforce whether you can use external views or cannot use external views in your mission by clicking enforce on and then we can turn it on or off. So we could go like that for instance and in this case everyone who came and flew your mission regardless of their private settings or their main menu settings they would not get external views. So I'm going to show how you how I set a mission up. I would always set a mission up the same unless there's something special about it. I'll have always have enforce on so that everyone who flies the mission gets the same settings and that's the settings that I want them to have. So everything's on there. Now some of these I don't know. I'm just going to go through tell you about the ones that I do know. So enforce I'll always have on. Permit crash whatever that says I don't know what that one is I just always leave it on external views yep obviously that's whether you want people to be able to look outside of their aeroplane on the F2 view the F3 view the F5 view and whatnot and in this case I'm going to click yes if you want a super realistic mission where you know you, you can only be in the cockpit which a lot of people do that's fine there in that case turn it off but I have it on I just prefer it and it means I can make videos from it F10 view options, so if, if they're using the F10 map as it's called, this is the type of display that they'll be able to see on that map, whether they see the map only, the pilot's own aircraft only, the fog of war, the allies only, or if they want to see the allies or, or both coalitions as well as the enemies. So as, an, as a basic standard, I have allies only. Random system failures, this one I always turn off. It's so random things can go wrong in your plane on flight. And I'll always have that turned off to make sure no one can do that. But again, that's up to you padlock. I don't know what that means. Unlimited fuel, unlimited weapons you can have on. Don't know why you'd want it, but that could come in handy. Maybe if it's a training mission, you know, and you don't want to have to worry about fuel or weapons, you could force them on like thus. Radio assists, I've never actually understood what that actually does, so I don't know. Tool tips, this uh, it allows you to, if you've got a high fidelity aircraft, you can hover the mouse cursor over a control in your cockpit and it will tell you what that control is. I always have it on, it's just useful, it helps people out generally. Immortal, I don't know why, that would make everyone who flew the mission immortal, but it could have some use. Whether you want labels on for everyone who flies the mission, full, abbreviated, or, or dot only, but we have none. Game flight mode, I think that makes it kind of more of an arcade rather than a flight sim type mode but obviously we have that turned off easy communication sometimes it's worth having that on if uh, it makes using the radios and communicating to things like ATC uh, AWACS um, aircraft carriers things like that super easy so you don't have to set up your radios uh, we have it off obviously but there might be reasons why you want that on civilian traffic I always recommend it having it off because if you're going to use it on multiplayer, use your mission on multiplayer, it can make it a little bit laggy, we find. So personally, I always have that turned off, unless it's a special mission where you need the traffic. GFX, simulation, yeah, well, that's always simulation. Mini HUD gives you a mini HUD when you look away from your main HUD, a bit like the um, m mounted display in the F-18, I think. You might want that on for some reason, I don't know why you would, but there you go. If you want to first board, force birds on, bird strikes, then you can change that here. Cockpit visual recon mode, I don't know what that is. Map user marks, if you want to allow people to play your mission to put marks on the map, there you go. We always force that on. Overlays, I uh, don't know what most of these do. Games, avionic mode, but, well, they're there. You can read them, they're pretty logical. Uh, that's all I wanted to say, really. At any time, you can cross that off. You can do some more work on your mission. You can go back in and change the options if you want. And that's it. Uh, save it, and you're done. I hope that helps, and see you later.